What up guys, how you doing? It's Arthur. I'm back here in Queens. We're out in the Unisphere, Flushing Meadow Park. And today we're gonna talk another sanso from Chao Ga Tong Long. It's called Dai So, right? Dai means to bring along, right? As if we're bringing a luggage or a child or we're bringing something. So we're gonna bring the opponent's hand away on a journey so we can open them up for an attack. And this is how it goes. As usual, we're gonna start in the middle, right here in the middle. We're gonna gas out, blocking, right? We're gonna sink the ribs. That's where the sink is gonna come. We sink the ribs, deflect out, top. Okay, let's take a step. Same side. We're gonna sink the ribs right here. Boom. All right. Second piece. We're gonna sink the ribs, but the elbow can't flare out. So you don't want to do this. This is no good. So you want to keep the elbow in and strong. Sink the ribs, elbow, and then chop out. Boom. Again, one more time. Last bit, we're gonna hit that wrist. It's not gonna be pressing down on the opponent's bridge. You're gonna flick, create a circle, right? So you're gonna sink the ribs, the elbow, and you're gonna flick the wrist out like this. Chop out, all right, here. And then we're gonna pierce, okay? Ga, sink the ribs, elbow, wrist, and pierce out. So for some simple applications, my man Izzy Man is gonna be coming to help out again. If I attack him and he blocks, boom, all right? One, why I tell you to sink the ribs? Because if he's strong, he can hold up my weight. Like, right, I don't wanna be just using my hand to press down on him. That does not gonna help. So if I hit, boom, and he blocks, I can sink the ribs and that's how you engage the body from top down, all right? So you sink the ribs and brings them down. Now he opens them up, now you can attack, all right? So again, I'm gonna hit, sink down, boom, okay? So that's the premise of how you practice the sound. So of course you don't have to hit here. You probably use the from nine if you want, or hit up, whatever you wanna do. Second piece, why do you not keep the elbow? You gotta keep the elbow in, right? You don't wanna do this, which is no good. Right, you want to sink the body and boom, all right? So for the wrist, if he's strong, I'm just going to deflect his hand away, adding to the sinking motion, and that's going to fling his arm away. So boom, right here. So you're going to fling his hand away just by that short motion. Sometimes you hear it as sung dai sao, right? And then where you see it is in the form, so when we do this, right? This is dai sao, all right? And you'll see this in samjin pikyu, right? So if we were sticking together, boom, as a lot of Kung Fu guys like to do. They're stuck having the bridge. I can come and grab him. This is Dai So. And I can use my shoulder to bump or knee or whatnot, right? Or open him up. Or I can do it single Dai So, right? And hit, boom. And that is it for San So. Thanks. So Dai So, three simple things, all right? You wanna sink the ribs, keep the elbow from flaring, and you wanna keep that wrist moving because you want it to be alive, not dead. All right, the ribs and the elbow is gonna sound repetitive because it's in every single sanso. You want it to be strong and stable. So if you learn it a different way from a different teacher, let me know, I'm not the only one, all right? There's a lot of different Chao Ga Long out here in this world now. And um, like if you haven't, subscribe definitely, and I will see you in the next video. Happy training.